Hi viewers, I thought I'd cover this subject of exit strategy as it's one that I uh, rarely see mentioned. Now I'm sure uh, many of you don't actually have an exit strategy or you just plan on leaving it as an inheritance to your family which of course is absolutely fine and uh, others will have had an exit strategy from the beginning of their stacking journey. Now my uh, stacking plans uh, changed during the journey uh, to suit my personal needs as to uh, what was available without paying VAT on it. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm sure others uh, will have changed their stacking strategy as well, you know, diverting to maybe vintage bullion or uh, more collectible pieces or whatever. Uh, that is the beauty of uh, stacking precious metals. You can uh, deviate off at different tangents. But how many of you uh, think about how you are going to liquidate uh, those metals when the time comes? Now for me personally, uh, when I started stacking many years ago, my original exit strategy was that come retirement, I would uh, slowly liquidate off a few pieces at a time uh, on eBay to um, bring me or a little income to uh, top up my pension. And um, for those of you in the UK, you will have seen on the news the recent uh, announcement probably that uh, eBay are now... Um, going to report your sales to the Inland Revenue if you sell over a thousand pounds worth of items in a year. Now to me uh, that is absolutely insane because I mean you've only got to put your car on eBay and you'd sell more than a thousand pound wouldn't you? Uh, and uh, you know I, I think uh, you know them sharing your information with the government is really an invasion of your privacy. So, uh, so that part of my <laughs> exit strategy is uh, now gone out of the window. Um, but I'm sure you're all aware, you know, there are many, many other platforms these days that you can uh, sell your precious metals on. Now, I have in the past sold some silver and gold uh, to my LCS. And, you know, I will say that uh, I didn't actually make money, uh, uh, but I didn't lose money. And for the simple reason was that uh, both gold and silver had gone up considerably uh, since I bought them. So, uh, you know, I, I basically just got my money back just about. But, uh, you know, you do have to bear in mind that a coin shop... You know, he has the premises to pay for, you know, the telephones, other staff. Uh, there's a lot of overheads that need to be covered. And, uh, you know, mine being quite a, a small shop, he has to, um, you know, he's got to move a lot of stuff and, uh, you know, to cover those bills. So, you know, you wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't give you spot for anything, I don't think. <laughs> I certainly uh, got under spot. So um, I, I, I'm sure maybe in the States you guys can get uh, spot, but uh, certainly my LCS wouldn't give me spot for anything. It would always be under so that he could actually uh, scrap it and still make a bit of money. So he could actually sell it as scrap and still be in pocket. So he's going to give you under spot. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments on, uh, you know, what your LCS will pay for um, stuff. So, you know, selling back to my LCS is not uh, really an option unless uh, silver and gold <laughs> shoot to the moon. Then might, it might be, I suppose. But like I said, um, you know, these days there are many, many other platforms that you can uh, liquidate on. And, um, and I hope you guys in the States uh, don't have the same issue with uh, eBay as uh, we're going to have here. 
because obviously you know eBay is a great place to sell um, because you've got such a broad audience now um, you know I've bought and sold on Instagram and uh, you know not really had uh, any issues on there but it's uh, you're certainly not reaching the same audience you would uh, by selling on eBay now I think I'm probably one of the most diversified stackers in the community I'm sure Salivate Metal would probably agree with that because uh, my stack it isn't just silver, it isn't just gold, it is collectibles and jewellery, um, basically arse covering, you know, uh, keeping a broad spread, uh, hoping that, uh, you know, some will do better than others. And uh, that's, uh, that's, just, that's just me, I suppose, you know, I like to cover my arse. <laughs> the little uh, British Bulldog ring, hallmarked. 1962 dreadful light today because the weather's foul and uh, the gorgeous little filigree brooch there I really should send this to silver vessel because it is a silver vessel but I don't think he'd wear a brooch um, so yeah my stack is uh, very diversified and I shall carry on uh, keeping it that way. You know, as uh, my regular viewers will have spotted, you know, that I've recently picked up some uh, newer silver and I explained why I picked up these uh, Chucky coins. <laughs> There's another one. Is there another one there? No, there isn't another Chucky coin there. Not even that one. Um, but again, that is kind of... Um, you know a, a bit of a, a protection gamble as it were you know if he pops his clogs next year um, you know these things might be worth a bit more it's 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 a gamble and uh, he might live to be a hundred <laughs> who knows but uh, it's uh, you know you still got the metal content value of it so it's uh, it's, it's it is a gamble but anyway, let me know your uh, thoughts down in the comments. Uh, you know, if you have an exit strategy or you've uh, had one and had to change it or, you know, you just um, stack and uh, intend to leave it or you intend to worry about the exit strategy when you actually need the money. So uh, drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And uh, as always... Keep calm and keep stacking and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.